Here are six easy ways to tell if you might have a blown head gasket. Number one, is there white smoke coming from your tailpipe? Number two, there's going to be bubbling coming from your radiator or coolant reservoir. Number three, you have an unexpected coolant loss without having a leak. Number four, milky white coloration on your dipstick. Number five, your engine is overheating. Number six, coolant comes out before the oil does when doing an oil change. Number one, white smoke coming out of your tailpipe. There's a normal amount of condensation smoke that comes out of your tailpipe during colder weather. This is nothing to worry about. There's also black smoke and blue smoke that indicates other engine issues. But if you start to notice white smoke when you're driving, especially under hard acceleration, this indicates coolant is starting to mix with the oil. Once the head gasket gives way, what you see here is what happens. Number two is bubbling coming from the radiator or coolant reservoir. This basically means there's a crack in the head and it's coming from the combustion gases that's leaking into your coolant system. This will need to be repaired ASAP. Number three, unexplained coolant loss without having a leak. If you keep adding coolant to your car and you have no idea where it might be going, check your dipstick. This is an issue with the coolant either leaking into the exhaust or into your oil. Number four is milky white coloration on your dipstick. This is everyone's worst fear when checking your oil. You put the dipstick in and you should either see good oil, which is nice and clear color, oil that's on its way out, which is going black. But if you pull your dipstick and you see that chocolate milk color, then you know 100% that your head gasket is bad. Number five is the engine is overheating. There are several reasons why your engine could be overheating. The first, you might just have air in the coolant system. This usually happens after a coolant flush. They have not gotten all the air completely out of your system. The second would be your water pump has gone out and there's no air circulating through your system. Third could be a faulty thermostat. These do fail and when they do, they won't open during the designated temperature. 180 degrees. You will notice your engine temp gauge on your dashboard start to go up past halfway. If you ever see your coolant gauge go up to 75 to 80% of your range, usually you see a little red zone. Find a safe place to pull off the road and shut the engine down and call a tow truck. If you keep driving, you will blow your head gasket. Number six and last, coolant comes out of your oil plug when you're changing the oil. This goes along with number three, unexpla unexplained coolant loss without having a leak. If your engine is at rest and your coolant slowly seeps into your oil, this is what happens. The oil will float on top of the coolant, and when you pull off the drain plug, the coolant will, sh the coolant will come out first before the oil. This specific engine, the owner refused to pull over and fully lock the engine up. If you have a V6 or a V8 and you're not sure what side the leak is coming from, pull all of your spark plugs out and do a compression test. The cylinder or cylinders with next to no compression is the bad side of the engine. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please like the video and subscribe.